All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, integrating open contrail into neutron stadium. My name is Sukhdev Kapoor. I'm a distinguished engineer at Juniper Networks as a part of the open contrail team. And then I have a Bin Hu here uh, with me. Uh, he's an architect uh, at AT&T. Uh, and we've been uh, together trying to get this thing, uh, this project going. So uh, what is it? Uh, it's essentially taking uh, open contrail. As you know, it's a monolithic plugin. It runs uh, by itself. So what we're trying to do is take that into the Neutron Stadium so that you can run it with ML2 plugin with ML2 drivers. The long-term goal is to bring Neutron and Open Contrail both at parity with each other. Right? Where, as you know, Open Contrail is very, very feature-rich, and Neutron lacks a lot of that uh, functionality. So in, from a very long-term point of view, we want to bring all of that functionality into Neutron so that the other vendors, other, other operators can benefit in an open source manner. But the short-term goal is to build a framework so that the other members of the community can jump on and contribute to it and, and be able to uh, bring in additional and their own use cases uh, into this. So uh, we kicked this off uh, three months or so ago. So we thought uh, what we have already achieved we thought uh, it will take us uh, four, anywhere between four and six months, so we are actually way ahead of schedule. So currently, uh, with the networking uh, open contrail, you have a full ML2 functionality, you have a router service uh, plugin, and a full dev stack support. So in other words, with a single click, by uh, configuring Ansible playbooks, you could install the open contrail as well as open stack and along with Neutron and you can get going and uh, it's available. Uh, the the Git, uh, Git repository is already up there. Uh, just pull it down, uh, play with it, test it and enhance it. You know, there are several contributors who are already participating in it. That's one of the reasons uh, we are ahead of schedule. Uh, that there's a lot of interest in this uh, program. And uh, we're still looking for more people. Uh, we can use a lot of resources to make it a reality, to bring it at a par uh, with, with Neutron. OK, open contrail and networking open contrail. Right? So open contrail is as uh, it is today, which is a monolithic plugin. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very uh, feature-rich networking uh, uh, plugin. Uh, you can run it as is, as, as you run today. So what we are doing is we are bringing in a second uh, deployment model, which is uh, uh, if you want to run networking, op uh, if you want to run open contrail controller, along with some other vendors' uh, drivers, such as uh, F5 load balancer, or Palo Alto uh, network firewall, or ODL and open control. Do you want to run them all simultaneously together in a given deployment? Uh, you should be able to do that, right? In fact, what we have presently uh, in the repo, uh, you should be able to play with that. The only thing is it has a, a presently limited functionality, which I mentioned. You can create routers, you can create networks, you can create ports, you can launch instances, uh, you can uh, do BGP peering, uh, you can do route targets and whatnot. So all those features uh, you can do and you can test them and you can play with them. So uh, going forward, uh, even though there are two deployment models, but they both cannot run together. So it'll be either or. So either you pick the monolithic plugin and deploy as it, it, as it runs today, or uh, you can use ML2, but not mix and match.
so I sort of already covered a little bit about this. Uh, it's already up and running. You can uh, uh, you can run DevStack. You can create routers. You can uh, you can do all the basic functionality which uh, which Neutron has, not the networking services. That is uh, that's one piece which is lacking, and that's why. We're looking for contributors. We're looking for uh, other warm bodies to come in and uh, help us uh, build that. You can go to these uh, uh, links and you can see the contributors who are, who are contributing to this project. And, uh, and obviously we need, we need at least 10 more people to, uh, to step up and help us uh, because there are, I can count at least 10 different additional functions which can be added to it to bring it at par with, uh, with Neutron. Okay, so what are the uh, next steps? Okay, so one of our uh, next and immediate goal is to bring this uh, into Neutron Stadium along with other SDN controllers such as OVN or OD, uh, ODL and whatnot. So, it should, uh, it should be part of Neutron Stadium. In order to do that, there are certain requirements which we have to meet, and uh, that's what uh, we need to accomplish. A few of the things uh, which we need is the continuous integration, uh, the synchronization of Neutron resources with the Contrail resources. So the Contrail has its own database, Neutron has its own database, so we wanna make sure <coughs> at all the times, the front end, the back end uh, are always uh, in sync. And if uh, there is any network outage or any error, so that the resources can be recreated automatically. We, we could use a lot of tests, additional tests, to make sure the end to end, all services work fine. And the documentation, a lot of documentation. So we can, we can use help. So if any of these areas uh, are of interest to you, please uh, do ping me. Uh, like I said, we can use help. And the areas uh, where the new features which are lacking in this project, uh, which are available in Neutron, such as a service function chaining, load balancer, firewall, VPN, L2 gateway, uh, BGP VPN uh, we already have, and and so forth. So all of these are independent service plugins. Uh, all of these works can be kicked off simultaneously. So that's why I mentioned if we if we put more warm bodies on it, they can simultaneously in parallel work to really uh, accelerate the delivery uh, of this thing, and we can bring. Uh, so there are two parts to it. When I say uh, bring at parity uh, with Neutron. Neutron has a limited set of features, so we want to make sure that all of those limited set of features are fully uh, configurable through Neutron by using Open Contrail. So f that's what I'm listing here, so those features. But then there is a second part of it. There is a huge amount of delta which Open Contrail does, which Neutron doesn't even know how to do it, right? And, and we want to bring that functionality into Neutron. And for that, uh, we've kicked off uh, another a new project, which is Networking Gluon. And Ben is really uh, heading and leading that effort. And uh, the, what Gluon is, it's, it's a new uh, uh, service plugin, which we've already created in, in the Neutron uh, uh, Stadium. And it is, uh, it is to address uh, telco and F NFV functions. What it gives you is it's a, it gives you a framework to automate the API generation by using Yang models. So rather than going through the pain, painful process of creating the CLI, the traditional way for the service plugins, here you just create your YAML models and off you go. It will automatically create the CLIs. And some of the fun, uh, uh, potential use cases which I have listed, all of these features and a whole lot more exist in Open Contrail, which do not exist in Neutron. So we're thinking 
we will use a, a Gluon service plugin as a vehicle or as a way to start bringing all of those uh, features which are in Open Contrail into Neutron. So, so the first part which I was talking about was bringing everything which is in Neutron to make sure it's at parity with Open Contrail. And this part is like bringing all the extra delta which exists in uh, Open Contrail into Neutron. So uh, potential use cases are like network policy, service mirroring. Service mirroring, is you can do port mirroring. Most of the people are aware of port mirroring, but in open control, we can do a whole, lot, whole hell of a lot more than just the port mirroring. You, could, you can literally mirror any, any resources, uh, any networking resources. Service health check, end-to-end -end, uh, end -end, uh, uh, service uh, health check of your deployment. BGP as a service, EVPN, and, and many other, right? So, so that's what uh, uh, Gluon is for. It's been kicked off. There is literally nothing, anything. So I've been waiting for <laughs> a bin to start uh, filling it and start populating it. But this is a good time to call for action. Uh, come on, uh, volunteer, uh, join us. And, uh, and, and bring in your own use cases. Tell us uh, what would you like to see, which doesn't exist in Neutron. Uh, uh, if, if, you, uh, if you watched new, new, uh, other session yesterday about Neutron uh, program uh, for the Queens and beyond, one of the things uh, was on the roadmap was uh, policy-based routing, right? The policy-based routing is very similar to what we're saying here as a network policy. So that's one of the things I've already kicked off is to start aligning that, uh, that function with this so that we can bring it as a part of Gluon. But if you can think of any other use cases, uh, bring them on, come on. Okay, so I'm getting a signal, the time is up. So this was fortunately my last slide. So uh, if there is any question, do I have time to take questions? No. <laughs> so I'll step aside. Ben is with me. We'll step aside, and we'll be happy to talk to you and uh, answer any more questions. And uh, if you want to participate and join with us, please come and uh, ping us. We'll be happy to work with you. Thanks.